10 Unbelievable Facts About the Biggest Shark Ever It won't be wrong to say that sharks are among the most feared creatures on Earth, and you don't need us to tell you why that is. They've been known to gobble the mightiest of humans in one go or bite off their limbs, enough reason to be frightened. But what if we told you that those sharks are nothing as compared to the Megalodon? The largest shark ever to exist in the earthy waters was way ahead of white sharks, the current terror. Proceed with caution to unveil some startling facts about this sea monster. It might leave you petrified. Number 10. Largest Predator Megalodon was not only the biggest shark, but was also the largest predator to have lived on the planet. As per the fossils of the giant, it would have been around 50 to 70 feet in length, and that's three times of what you see in the Great White. On the grounds of weight, the comparison between the two is even more bizarre. Where the Great White weighed about 3.5 tons, the Megalodon must have been around 60 tons. It scares us. Number 9. Massive Teeth The Megalodon's teeth could be as large as 7 inches in length and 4 inches in width. Did that not scare you? On comparison, the Great White didn't stand anywhere near it with its tiny 3-inch teeth. To actually beat the giant shark, you'll have to go back to the age where the famous Tyrannosaurus Rex lived with his 11-inch long teeth. Now are you shocked? Well, you shouldn't be, because the name Megalodon itself is proof of its mighty teeth, which comes from two Greek words, megas, meaning big, and odont, meaning tooth. Number 8. The Most Powerful Bite Megalodon, with its 7-inch teeth coupled with a huge jaw measuring 11 feet in width, and 9 feet in length has the most powerful bite ever. You would expect nothing less from the sea giant. Its bite force was between 24,000 to 40,000 pounds, which is 6 to 10 times of what the great white can ever muster. Even the good old T-Rex could manage no more than 12,800 pounds. So you know who the daddy is. Number 7. Whales for Lunch The giant shark had a diet that suited its title of a predator. It relished a mouthful of prehistoric whales like the sperm whale, humpback whales, mink whales, and bowhead whales in addition to some turtles, dolphins, squids, etc. Going by its huge size, it needed about a ton of food per day to sustain itself. We really can't call it a mouthful. Sorry for the mistake. Number 6. Worldwide Distribution It's believed that the giant megalodon lived across the globe in areas of North and South America, Africa, Europe, Cuba, Australia, Jamaica, Japan, Malta, India, New Zealand, and so on. No, we have not fantasized it, people. The teeth fossils of this gigantic shark have been found all over the world, which proves that it had a wide distribution, which may be dependent on availability of food and warmer temperatures. So with the extinction of Megalodon, we guess the entire planet sighs of relief. Number 5. Megalodon Nursery Areas The giant sea predator preferred shallow waters as a nursery for its young. This has been deduced on the basis of fossil teeth that have been found in concentration at some areas. These teeth were about 1.5 inches in length, which point towards the fact that they belong to baby Megalodon. Do you think that's cute? Even the babies were as large as the largest great white shark. Their cute nurseries have been found in the Culvert Cliffs in Maryland, Bone Valley region of Florida, and recently in Gadam Foundation of Panama. Number 4. Unbelievable Jaw Structure through research, it's been found that the Megalodon has five rows of teeth in its jaw that acted like a conveyor belt so that the lost teeth could be replaced within 48 hours. The giant shark had about 276 teeth at a time, with about thousands of teeth through the course of its lifetime. Also, the fossil teeth were mostly worn at the tips. That could represent being hit into bone or teeth while feeding. No wonder its prey had no choice but to become its dinner. Number 3. Tongue Stones Sharks constantly shed teeth, and when you talk of the Great Megalodon, you can well imagine how many teeth it can shed throughout its life. What we're coming towards is that they have always been in abundance around our world, but were seen as the tongues of dragons, which turned into stones after being cut. It was because of this that they were called tongue stones before Nicholas Steno studied them in the 17th century and came to a conclusion that they were shark teeth. Does that make him the first paleontologist? Number 2. Evolution from where the Megalodon has evolved has been a constant debate. Some believe it to be closely related to the Great White Shark and thus have put them under the same genus, but many disagree to it. Some researchers point out the existence of Otodus Shark, some 60 million years ago, which was around 30 feet in length, 1.5 times larger than the biggest white shark. Otodus was also widely spread and had similar teeth to that of the Megalodon. Not much is known of this prehistoric shark, and thus it can't surely be concluded that these two have a relation. Number 1. Extinction 
Just like many other prehistoric animals, Megalodon vanished from Earth when climate conditions changed. The giant sea creature could not sustain in cold waters. That's why it stayed away from polar regions and stayed in warmer waters for childbirth. It can be said that things became tough for Megalodon when temperatures fell. While it moved towards warmer waters, the whales that were its food moved towards the colder areas, which